Oh, that's good. <clears throat> yeah. That's good. Maybe you need to co-host with us all the time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think your audience would like that. <laughs> yeah, they would. All right, I'm going to go. Okay, ready? We're ready. You are listening to Mondays on Main, a podcast created to connect with local creatives, artists, and small business owners in the Southern Illinois area. Each month, we sit down with guests to talk about topics surrounding their brand and anything else they would like to bring to the table. Please take a quick moment to subscribe and leave a rating wherever you're listening. Your support helps us reach more people and spread the conversation further. Now, let's get into the episode. Welcome back, everybody, to Mondays on Main. I'm your co-host, Sean David, and this is co-host... Stephanie Susie. And what is up? How you doing? How you feeling? We're feeling... <laughs> how are we feeling? We're feeling pretty good. I'm feeling real good. <laughs> I just got to start off, before we introduce the guest, which I'm going to let Steph do, because you guys go way back. Mm-hmm. Here's how my day went. Someone hit my mailbox. <laughs> yeah. How do you do that? So we're on the Friggin search for that person. Maraud did... No, she came back. Oh, she came back. Well, at least she came back. Anyway, driving here, turning my blinker on. (laughs) Some person, to put it nicely, just wasn't... I saw them in my rear view. Uh Because, you know, there's a slight little hill here. Mm -hmm. And I'm always aware because Mm -hmm. if I need to just keep Mm -hmm. going, then Mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, Mm -hmm. blinker on, about to turn, look up just to confirm, and she's doing this. And I'm like, she ain't even looking, nor mm-hmm. is she slowing down. Mm-hmm. Luckily, she didn't hit me. But it then became my fault because I was trying to turn back there, and it just pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean is having a day. <sighs> that's, that's where I'm at. <laughs> so welcome to that. <laughs> well, let's move on. Let's introduce okay. the guests and jump okay. into this thing. Yeah. So I'm Laura Rush. <laughs> With... Esther Bloom Photography. Yep. Esther Bloom? Esther Bloom. Esther Bloom. So we go way back, way, way back, way to the way back, because I think we met in, you said 2013? Yeah, 2012, probably 2013. 2013. Somewhere in there. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm going to tell the story because it's a funny story, but um, I'm, I, I've th- the way that we met is me threatening her. <laughs> This is true. I really think that that's how all good friendships start is by... Over a, food. A, a th- over food and a threat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> it worked. But um, I, ha- I, had, I was working a wedding with um, Jody, a florist that we all work with, and or we all used to work with. All of us are basically out of weddings now except for you. But yeah. um, anyway, so um, she had mentioned you to me. And I said, I know I've seen her work and I'm aware of her. And I said, but I don't know her. And I said, I know that her work is too good for the prices that she's charging. She was charging way too little. And I, and Jody had said that you were talking to her about that, about how you didn't know where to go, blah, 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 blah. And so I told Jody that I was thinking about reaching out to you, but I didn't know if I didn't want to overstep the boundaries. And I said, do you think that she would respond well to that and Jody was like I think she would absolutely respond well to that so then I reached out to you Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) and we met up for lunch Uh uh-huh we had lunch and she was doing the I just don't think I'm good enough or I just don't think my people will pay that amount of money or she was giving me some line and I had the knife from the table sitting in my hand and I threatened her and told her that I was going to stab her in the eyeball if she while you were stabbing the table. Yes, while I was like yes. like being a total caveman and and beat and told her that if she didn't raise her prices I was going to stab her in the eyeball with the knife. And we've been friends ever since. I knew it from that moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was like she's my she's my people. <laughs> Yep. So, okay. Or was it just, I better have her as a friend. <laughs> you know, my mom always yeah. taught me to, the people you're scared of, to make them your friend. <laughs> so so I'm scared. I have several <laughs> friends because I'm scared of them. <laughs> good to know, Mama Marsha. <laughs> yes. Marsha's full of good wisdom. Yeah. Okay, so you go into telling a little bit about you and your business and how long you've been a photographer and all that jazz. Well, I run Esther Bloom Photography, which I've had for 16 years. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly weddings, um, mm-hmm. some families. Mm-hmm. 
uh, specialize in elopements, mm-hmm. Southern Illinois elopements and traveling mm-hmm. for adventure weddings. Mm-hmm. That's my biggie. Adventure weddings. Those are my favorite because uh-huh. I'm an outdoorsy kind of girl. <laughs> um, and then I also have uh, a wedding rental company mm-hmm. called Bloom Wedding Rentals. Mm-hmm. And we rent out all the decor, tables, chairs, uh-huh. and decorations for whatever event yeah. you may be having events weddings yeah. and otherwise yes and we yeah. just started that in 2020 a week before the world shut down <laughs> so it was really good business news <laughs> at the but time ultimately it was because you had time to it clean, is now, clean yes. everything up and get it organized and get Correct. your stuff together yes. and yeah yes the more the merrier yeah i don't yeah. think anybody's gonna no know. Like I, I said, mind. it's going to be a while before it gets here. I don't know. It could be one of those things that swoops through and everybody's like, yeah. Yeah. And then everybody's like, I need a social media manager for my wedding. I do need a social media manager for myself. I mean, legit. It would really only take doing one decent sized wedding around Listen, here. Listen, Main Street Media and can. And you know all them. I mean, if Main Street Media wants to hop in on this, me, we could work if together. You, if you're I'm into thinking it. about it for Sean David video. Oh, okay. Well, listen, hook up with this one right here. Because if I could can... not have to lug all this around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just be like. Take your phone. I got my phone. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. You better have extra battery pack and everything else. I am with you. Do your. Well, you what if do? your phone dies? Well, yeah, but all you got to do is have one of those. Um... Bring one of those little battery cells. Yeah. 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 Just have a vest, like. <laughs> it's all just <laughs> power bricks. Yeah, power yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that'd be perfect. Or you could just like have an older phone that doesn't. It's not active, and then you could just swap off until that mm-hmm. phone charges. Uh, there's lots of ways around it. Listen, break I know, out the iPad. I know, I know a guy. <laughs> I'm for this. <laughs> I don't. I'd want to try an all day one though. I like that elopement thing. Yeah, that, I've got that some. Sounds re- I've got real several nice. good elopements coming up. I'll give you a list. Well, let's chat. Okay, I'm interested. See, this is what this is gonna happen. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm feeling it. My okay, husband will anyway. be excited. He's not the one having to take pictures yeah. of me on some mountain, mm-hmm. like shooting mm-hmm. people on the edge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He loves doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, don't you even think about skipping this ad. Ugh, you skipped it, didn't you? Oh, no, you're still here. Good, because we need your help, and the ask is super simple. Rate the show and share this episode. That's it, just a few clicks out of your day, and you just help spread the conversation further. So, thank you. We couldn't do it without you. All right, let's get back to the episode. I am now... Are you kidding me? Welcome back to Mondays on Main, where you just missed a 10-minute conversation. <laughs> you just snorted in my just... phone. Oh. He's a professional. <laughs> that wasn't part of the conversation. No. I thought I was being graded. All right. Well, what you missed was we were talking about wedding pricing. Yeah. Maybe God, that's God's way of saying, Maybe don't talk just about that. Supposed to be in yeah, it. let's. that's his way of saying. Maybe don't that's talk a whole nother that. session. I mean, that could be a whole I do want to go back to this because I think it's a good point. But okay. I listened to your advice on like, when do you up your pricing? Mm-hmm. Because let's be honest, inflation. Yeah. Legit. Things have gotten so expensive. Mm-hmm. And like, that, that has to come out in some way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. I could get, I could get heated about that. Get heated. We're here yeah, for it. Yeah. Wow. Well. Anyway, your what you told me was, you know, once you have someone book your biggest package once or twice, preferably twice, then you switch all your pricing yeah. up. I know. I've always heard people say when you sell the biggest package when, one time, and Correct. I'm like, eh. I'm a, That's what they teach at all of the... I know, but I'm a more on the conservative side of that where it's like, eh, I need a couple more times To make sure it's sticking and that it's not a fluke. But I also feel like the only time I hear that advice is whenever we're at the workshops of people who don't shoot anymore and they're just trying to teach you. This is true. And they're not actually running a business. Steph was in weddings. Yeah, I was in it. (laughs) I was in it. But you knew that because you heard that. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. At one yeah. of our conferences. But I also change yeah. it to what makes sense to me. Right. And like Correct. I said, it's not, don't it's do fit it. you. Right. Don't, don't do it whenever you sell your, first, your biggest package one time, because that really could be a fluke. Mm-hmm. Do it when you sell, when it's like, it's, it's consistently happening a couple more times. When it's a third of your weddings are all yeah, your largest that's package. When you, that's when I'm, you need I'm to at that point. Assess. And I don't think I you should take my own advice. But it's still <laughs> nerve wracking, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, Changing it's your price scary. Is scary, no matter what you do, but it is an unfortunate side of running a creative business like that because, like we said, that everybody missed because. <laughs> I... But inflation, like my groceries are more expensive. My gas bill is like through the roof. Well, mm-hmm. everything. And Streaming I'm not doing ups. this to make friends. I'm doing this for a job and it has to pay my bills. It's definitely a job. Yes. So like if it's not paying my bills, why am I doing it? Right. Because weddings are stressful. Yes, we have a good time with it and we do love what we do, but it is still a job and we still need to get paid for it. Do you it. think we should add an upcharge for people who have outdoor weddings in August when it's 104 outside? I think he and I actually had that conversation. The The wedding that he almost passed out Legit, at the... Almost, yeah, almost like, passed. That was a 2020 wedding. I think brides should think about that because honestly, yeah. like... The people that are working your event mm-hmm. feel like they're dying. Do you think they're going to give you their 100%? Yes. Yeah. It's so yeah. hard. Yeah. And do you think you're going to look your best when it's 104 degrees no. outside? Mm-mm. Absolutely not. Well, and they're to the point where they're just like covered in yep. sweat. Yes. You yeah. can take that out like, though, right? Yeah. It's not a <laughs> you're joke. You're just like, get this and get mm-hmm. out of here. I had yeah. a wedding where I almost passed out. <laughs> like, I think I almost got, I got real close to heat stroke, but not exaggerating. Like, think I really got close mm-hmm. to it. But it was an outdoor wedding in like June or July and it was hot. And everybody else was having the opportunity to go in and get air air mm-hmm. conditioning breaks. But because I was the one that was shooting everybody. Right. You didn't I get I didn't get yep. to go in and I wasn't drinking enough water because we were busy. Well, and it's not like people are thinking, oh, let's make sure the photographer yeah. has stuff to eat and drink yeah. throughout the day. Yeah. That doesn't happen. That doesn't. Very, 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 very rare. rare. One wedding. And I don't even remember who it was, but she was on it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I almost felt like I was, should have tipped her because yeah, yeah, she yeah. was... Yeah. There are some yeah. venues that are like that, yeah. and those are the ones that I would take a wedding there. And it may not be my favorite venue, but the way they treat me when I'm there, yeah. I would shoot every wedding there yeah. if that was yeah. the case because of how well you're treated. Yep. Oh, I that's feel very I, strongly about I, that. I could shoot every wedding that I ever shot at St. Stephen's on the Hill, and it's just because of my relationship with Dave. Mm-hmm. And I... I, I just worked with him for so long that I could get on the side by side and go do whatever we got to do and come back. I could get in the fridge and go and get whatever I want. And so it was that kind of relationship that I had right. with him that, but I also, the venue is beautiful and I could shoot every wedding there and still get different mm-hmm. images at every wedding. They have that so I many options. They there. have so many options. I love it there. there, but it's the, it's that relationship. Whereas I've had like dragonfly and heron's actually pretty good to work with as far yeah, as they're like, under new management yeah i saw the third so i don't yeah, haven't been there since, second yeah. time is this the second time no anna's not there anymore anna oh. anna went out and started her own um wedding She's planning wonderful. business yeah anna is wonderful so shout yeah, out to Brides anna hire Perez. Her. yes her is that her Brides hire her she's wonderful. yes she is wonderful she is a great wedding she will planner. take care of you she will take care of you for sure um so i haven't been back to dragonfly since anna's left so i don't know me either my last one she, it was her anna, yeah. i think it was her last wedding actually but regardless anna was wonderful and she was that type of of vendor where it's like she's going to take care of everybody that's on the place so but then i've had some where they could give to <laughs> <laughs> about the other vendors mm-hmm. and it's a it's a it's a different vibe it's a whole other thing it's yeah. a whole other thing yeah so anyway okay what else were we going to talk about orange pictures <laughs> more editing trends that are okay so this will be a negative one and then right uh, this will be a negative one and then we'll go to a positive one okay let's do that because we don't want to be okay. all no negative. we don't want to be all negative i want to talk bitchy. about a positive one yeah. that's yeah okay 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 orange photos orange you, photos. you start I mean, I see more of the blurry than I see the orange. So I feel like this is your conversation. I think the orange it's just is really more warm editing. I think very, it's very, warm very much from the trend from last two years of mm-hmm. the boho weddings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's they what seem I had in my a head. lot of the burnt orange, a lot yeah. of the 
the warmer tones. And I'm yeah. not against warm tones. But there's warm and then there's like orange. Yes. It's the thing that bothers me. It's not so much the background being orange. It's the skin tones. Yeah. I want true skin tones. Yeah. I don't care if you are a warm photographer or a cool photographer. Yeah. Light and airy, dark and moody. Don't care. I want the skin tone to make sense and I don't want them to look like Oompa Loompas. And the congregation says amen. And I know, but that is not a popular view. Yeah, I know. Amongst a lot of Well, but the, I also feel like that comes from us being in it for a really long time and realizing that we're here to shoot your wedding pictures that you're going to have throughout your entire marriage. And so if you want your grandchildren to look back at your images in 30 years or whatever, you you don't want them to look at that and go, oh my God, that was so 2020. Right. Because they're going to be able to. Because I can look at a wedding from 2004 and be like, oh my God, that was so 2004. The bright color bands around the oh, yeah. wedding gown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah for sure. The yeah. black and the hot pink. Black and hot pink. Oh, prom. black and hot pink, That's baby. the prom weddings That's with the bling. The mm -hmm. I had a yep, couple of yep, those. Yep, 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 yep. So that's, the, yeah. when you hire, when you do something like that, where it's super trendy, you're going to be able in 20 to 30 years, you're going to be able to see. Exactly. I just wish we could get back to, which a lot of it is going back classic yes. and the black and white with some greenery, you know, the classic neutral tones and pops of color with wildflowers or what I'm good with all of, yeah. I love all yeah. of that. Just yeah. make sure the skin tones make sense and your white balance makes sense yes. because yes. Yeah, I know. When it's I'm just all orange. Yeah. Well, orange. do you think some... Mm, how to say this <laughs> without being a douche? <laughs> <laughs> do you think some of the younger artists out there um, who are starting out maybe don't fully understand their camera or exposure or yes. oh, white yeah. balance? Or, Definitely. Yes. So some of the... like. I'm kind of curious, do some of these trends come out of, Yeah. oh, I took that and it looks weird, but yeah. it's like so creative and yeah. cool. Yes. And then everyone's like, oh my God, you're so meta. I do think that the trendiness of certain photo trends comes from the people who are new. Absolutely. Because the people that's who, who I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the where The people I'm who have it. been in it for years understand the timeless aspect of it. Yes, the people who have yeah. been in it for years. I don't yeah. see no. the crazy trends. They're boring. But that's They're it's because very we, classic. Yes. It's because we understand what we're doing. Whereas when you're starting out, you're in the trend and you're like, you know, you're figuring it mm -hmm. out and, and so it well, makes sense. Wanna... And we're not throwing shade at anybody. It's just a matter of you know, if you're shooting somebody's wedding, think about that. Think about what you're doing. Think about the job that you're doing and what you're delivering to those people mm -hmm. and how in 20 but to 30 some years. Some people really like that. And, and I, that's fine, I guess. Godspeed. More power to you. But if somebody comes to me and asks me to shoot Not an happening. orange wedding. Mm -mm. <laughs> an orange wedding. No. I, I well, don't I'm mean just the colors. I've shot a lot of burnt orange as the color. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. been very yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean that. But I feel like you can pull other tones besides just yeah. orange yeah well don't over warm your images in your editing at least make the couple just make the skin tones just skin tones yeah. correctly just make the skin tones and then worry about everything else later <laughs> but anyway okay so the other the other trend that we are not upset really about is direct flash yeah i do like some direct flash i'm not I'm, i don't hate it it's funny because we worked, so, I worked so many years trying, trying to, to make it look. to, mm -hmm. yes, to make your natural, mm -hmm. your flash look more natural. And now, we're, now you're going back to it. And then now it's cool too. Yeah. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't it's hate just, it. I worked so hard to not I do know. that because that was not okay back well, when we started. And then now it's. I wouldn't, if I were still shooting weddings, I would not. I would not use direct flash during a ceremony. Absolutely not. I don't I, either. That direct flash would be a reception only type of yeah, thing. Yeah, like for the dancing yes. or maybe a couple outside like nighttime mm. shots. Um, maybe, yes. Like the sparkler, yes. that kind of yes. thing. And it, what did they say? The new 
the kids now. <laughs> they One say them kids it, it gives things. Hollywood classic Hollywood. It's what okay. they say. It gives. It gives. I don't, I don't it know. Gives. It, gives. it gives. Yeah, Got I'm it. not. I okay, don't but I like, like it that, though. But... I mean, I'm I'm into it. I like mm-hmm. the beauty dish shots, and I I like I like I like it. But not for everything. So no, I, no, not I, for that's, everything. That's one of those. I think same that's, with the blur. Moral of the story is: don't do it for the whole damn wedding. Give them a handful of images that, if they want to mm-hmm. use on their Instagram account and be trendy for a hot second, or give them a, a hand, content creator or that content creator. <laughs> um, give them a handful of those so that they can post them. But then yeah. go back to classic everything for whenever you're delivering the album and everything else, mm-hmm. because that's only thing. That's the only thing that's gonna. Stand the test of time. Please keep that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. It's classic. Yeah. It looks, I think, also with car shots, like nighttime and car shots. Mm-hmm. Like, that mm-hmm. looks mm-hmm. old Hollywood yeah, glam. It does. it does. Vintage. Yeah. It does. If you want to look like a celebrity. Yeah. I blame Haley and Justin Bieber. Yes. Yeah. I think they were one of the first yes. that really. Yes. I blame them. It's their fault that all of this is happening. I think a Kardashian did that too. Did they? Oh yeah. Um, Travis what's her Barker. Courtney and Travis. Yeah. 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 Which they're old. They're old. <laughs> How old are they? <laughs> My age. I'm that they're age. They're old. <laughs> um. Yeah, newsflash. We are old people. Yeah. We are yes. old people and I don't care. I'm okay with it. I, <laughs> I go to bed at 8 30 it's fine i own that shit what were we doing know. after your last wedding on the beach we well, started making tiktoks <laughs> <laughs> talking about what were we old fat old and crusty fat or and something? cranky or something <laughs> old fat and cranky or something that's not like the that. word you normally use no it's not old fat and what what do i use what? crotchety crotchety maybe that's what it was I don't know. It was something to that effect. It was something to that. We had a, we had a few. We had a few. Was this views. when I was with you guys yeah, on the beach? You were there. You were there. <laughs> that was so fun. You were there. But that was when my foot. Oh God. You were having a time. God love her, Brittany. Ugh, I love that wedding. I love that wedding, and I love that whole crew of people that were at that wedding. But I was miserable because of my foot at that wedding. That was that was miserable. And it wasn't her fault, but I think I think we still did a pretty damn good job at that wedding, even though yeah. I was miserable through the whole thing. So I really was crushed. So would you still shoot weddings if you had a if you got to do beach weddings? No. So I can't call you to go to no. the beach with me. No. <laughs> you. Saw? I mean, I'll go with you. <laughs> She'll be no way over there. You asked. Whoa. I went with you. <laughs> I will shooting. cheer you on from the sidelines on the beach. Under give her a zoom lens. Yeah. She'd be like. <laughs> but I'm not getting off from my, her chair yeah, and her margarita. I'm not getting off the, the, the beach chair with an umbrella. I'm going to sit yeah. there and I'll watch you do it. <laughs> I'll help you drive Fine. down if that's what I you thought do. we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, that walking in the sand. Oh, yeah. For this the, is how old I For the sound, birds. But, mm-hmm. yeah. Shooting a wedding actually on the beach is for the birds. Uh, unless you are like on a private island area. The people that when they get married on a public beach and there's people uh-huh. in their big uh-huh. floaty out in the water Standing in the background there with their gut hanging out yeah. or, and then you gotta retouch them out of the damn yes, background the last one i uh-huh. had they were playing frisbee in the uh-huh. background it wouldn't move uh-huh. and actually moved to there mm-hmm. and trying to hit the arbor with their frisbee during the ceremony i kid Jared, you not have they been drinking i don't know uh, i have no idea see, we had that there was a whole crew of people. Oh, there was a whole crew of people out in the water. One of them had a big pink tube, yep. but I don't think they realized how close they were. No, no, I'm talking about the ones next to us on because this was literally at a resort, but it was like a public they only, beach, resort beach, mm-hmm. public They beach. only shut down yeah. like a You need to go section. to a state park, yeah. public, or yeah. like a yeah. state park where you yeah. can rent that area. Like yeah. I know at St. George Island, yes. there are public or their state beach where you can get married there's no one no one for miles yeah. or go in december <laughs> or go in december go. i actually kind of yes. thought it was fun getting well i didn't get married but having it in the middle of people because there no. was a crew to our left they were just drinking and having a fun old time and they were just like but get they married were, yeah, but they were <laughs> fun they yeah, were positive yeah. and they were fun and they were like cheering. Yeah, it was a good time. It was fun, but then yeah, there were the jerks that were trying to. Oh, we had you know. a kite too. We had oh, a kite had a come kite. down. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. I mean, we, we have a lot of experiences and yeah, you, you could tell some horror oh stories. Oh my gosh, here. we could tell some damn stories. I'm but not, we can also tell not. some really great stories <laughs> yes, too. Yes, yes. Like Kaylee and Matt's wedding, when you went with me, yeah, that it was, was really it nice. was in Seaside in December. That watercolor. The weather could not have been more perfect mm-hmm. because it was like a light overcast day the whole day. So the light for this whole wedding was just like the most perfect Anything that a photographer could ever ask for. And you don't for. ever get that on the beach. And you beach. don't ever get that. And so you were on the beach, but it wasn't hot because it was December. Mm-hmm. And it was just, oh my God, it was the most perfect beach Yeah, wedding. get married in December on the get, beach. And, well, not only that, but they got like a huge cut because they got married in the off season. Right. And you know, it's Florida, so it's still December is the best. We, yeah. we oh said that God. that day. We, yeah, we, December beach weddings are the, or even probably January. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be December. It could be after Christmas. But yeah, I would say that was a, that was a. They're my favorite times to go. What's your favorite? I think this would be a good way to end it. What is your favorite wedding memory from shooting weddings? Ever? Ever. Just one memory that stands out that is your mm. favorite favorite. I know mine if you guys need me to go first. Yeah, yeah go. I know. I know mine. So Brooke and Matt hired me to go shoot their wedding in New Orleans because they knew that I love New Orleans. And Brooke actually said, I know that I would not be able to get anybody else that loves New Orleans as much as I do. And so she hired me to go down there. And I mean, it was it was a beautiful wedding all the way around. Everything. Like she did everything. She hired a streetcar for photos. We went to Jackson Square for photos. We did everything mm-hmm. New Orleans for their wedding. But the highlight is they had a second line from the reception to a bar in the quarter. And my one of my favorite images that I've ever shot, and I don't have it hanging up here because I'm just not ready to hang pictures yet in the studio, but it's my favorite image that I've ever shot. And it's of the two of them with the band leader Mm -hmm. of their of their um, band that led the the second line. And it's my favorite. It's just my favorite ever, ever, ever. You always have said that. Yeah, it's my favorite. And I think you'll probably know mine too. Okay. So not off the top of my head. (laughs) It was um, when I went to Utah. (gasps) Yeah. Yeah. To Zion. Yeah. And the first look we went up the overlook pass mm-hmm. which that whole trip we were hiking because yeah. that's what my husband and i yeah. do is wake up if i'm on vacation and i'm where i can hike i will wake you up every morning before sunrise <laughs> because i will be hiking yeah. at sunrise yeah and we did their first look at sunrise yeah. at the overlook and hiked up and it was just the most magical beautiful yeah place i've yeah. ever been and yeah. thank you hannah and cody for allowing yeah. me to do that <laughs> and if you would like to go back for family portraits i'm yeah absolutely available um, <laughs> so there was a joke somebody joked during matt and matt and brooke's wedding that that we all need to have like an anniversary mm-hmm. trip to new orleans where that whole crew again goes back goes for their back. anniversary and i am here for it so <laughs> I will personally be for the photographer for that group. Should yeah. we want to make that happen, Brooke and Matt? So I <laughs> let's make that happen. <laughs> yeah, I I think that's what yeah. had really made me know that I wanted to do adventure yeah. elopements. And yeah. that was yeah. that was the day. Even yeah. though our car broke down at the beginning yep. of the day. Some of that doesn't matter. So many things happened wrong and yet that will always be one of my favorites. Yeah. That or I had one other wedding. It was a father daughter dance, and I don't know why. Yeah. I, and those don't normally get me. Sometimes they do, though. <laughs> but this one was all choreo, not choreographed, but they weren't Russian. But it was another. Yeah. It was something yeah. that I don't know exactly. Yeah. And yeah. they did a certain dance and special dances and yeah. everything about that day. Yeah had all their traditions yeah. and if I get a wedding like that I'm all in like yeah. I want to see it all I want to learn it all I yeah. need to know it all yeah. I want to know their music yeah. I want to know everything and that yeah. day was full of it yeah. and I will always hold that as one of my all-time favorite yeah. weddings because of that yeah. and they didn't have a wedding party either yeah. one yeah oh yeah we didn't address that we don't have to but okay. yeah neither of those brides had you're big gonna wedding come back parties. and we're gonna do another one because yeah give advice yeah <laughs> Hot okay what's yours well, <clears throat> my default is um, I got to not only be the videographer, oh, I know but I also story. was the efficient yeah. for my cousin's wedding. Yeah. 
And like the backstory that I'm not going to get into because there will be tears probably. <laughs> it's just like it was such an honor. Yeah. Because of I was basically stepping in for my grandfather and you know yeah. there's a whole story there yeah. and super yeah. sentimental yeah. yep and i felt very privileged and honored yeah. and it was very stressful yeah, but yeah, yeah. it was so worth it worth it, it. Mm -hmm. yep. so no other wedding's going to top that yeah one. yep i get um, it i get that but if i go outside of the personal family yeah. wedding yeah yeah um i think so we did one in missouri and it was oh what was the town called St. Genevieve, mm -hmm. and it was peak fall for there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. Yep. But this couple had, like, had to postpone. No, I'm mixing up couples. <laughs> sure am. St. <laughs> Genevieve was just beautiful. Yeah. But I totally messed up the couples. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a dragonfly. But the reason that it was like super freaking special is because they had to postpone their wedding because of COVID. Yeah. And then it, it just kept like getting pushed and they didn't know when and blah, blah, blah. But they just loved each other. Like, so it just oozed and they yeah. were so mm -hmm. sweet. And it was just like, you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> and like, we actually became friends yeah, yeah, yeah. after that. Yeah. Because yeah. come to find out, we lived in around the same area. And yeah. Um, so we still stay in touch ish, you know, Yeah. but they were just the coolest people yeah. Yeah. and it made mm -hmm. everything just awesome. You yeah. Know? I yeah. think with like how I said, the one at Utah, mm -hmm. so they did have 30 people come along and so their closest friends and family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was still a small wedding, not just a true elopement. Mm -hmm. And one of the, everything was centered around making their family and friends feel special. And so during the ceremony, they actually wrote cards, handwritten oh. cards to every single person that came to their wedding a letter <laughs> oh. and they pass them out during the wedding oh. and every person is bawling oh, their I eyes out that. so think of the photo opportunities oh, that gave yeah. us everyone bawling their eyes yes. out yes yes and then the bride and groom wrote one it was just yeah it was yeah well you know i can say with brooke and matt their wedding i i, we, I think jay and i actually had a conversation after the fact and it's like you could you could so feel how devoted they were mm -hmm. to making sure that every single person had the best time I feel at like their wedding. You get that with those types yeah. of weddings yes. because they care about the people yes. and they care about just getting married. Yes. All of the big yes. wedding stuff yes. isn't a stress. Yep. It's not a stress point yep. on them. It, everything is you know, focus around getting married yeah. with the people they love. Yeah. So they're more intentional, I yes, feel like. Yes, yes, and yes. And I think that's why I love them the yeah. most. Because during 2020, yeah. when all of the weddings went smaller yeah. and everything else, everything turned more intentional and yeah. everything was more intimate. And yeah. that's what made me really draw towards yeah. those weddings. Yeah. Well, and I feel those people are usually not old, but they're a little and, older, yeah. mm -hmm. more mature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with getting married younger, but you just... Yeah. I've. From my experience, this yeah. is my opinion, so yeah. screw off if you don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, like, forward. the younger the bride and a groom, yeah. the more, like, oh, it has to be like this. And, oh, my yeah. God, that one rose is wilting already. Like, yeah. yes. what am I paying for? And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then you go to, like, the older. a more mature, mm -hmm. you know, group, and they're just like, oh, who cares? Yeah. It's not a Let horse and pony show. It's not pomp and circumstance. <laughs> yes. It's just yes. we want to be married, yes. and these are the people we And we, we love. want to enjoy it with the people that we love. Yes. yes. I would take Agreed. those weddings yep. any day. Agreed. So if you're those people, call me, because they're not in weddings anymore. So yeah. call me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's been an hour and a half. Whew. <laughs> well technically not because i didn't record oh yeah you didn't record like 15 minutes <laughs> you can make it into two this may be a two-part <laughs> a two-parter it's probably the best part of the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh you're gonna come back all right okay anytime but before you leave oh god yeah give us a little uh blurb where about, can people find you yeah where can people find you oh um socials website yeah i just have facebook and instagram at esther bloom photo and my website is estherbloom.com. <laughs> Short and sweet. Yep. Easy Pretty easy. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if you want rentals, I'm oh, bloomweddingrentals.com. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
pretty easy. Bloomweddingrentals.com. Yes. Got and it. if you are looking to elope in the Shawnee forests, I'm your girl. Yeah. And it's just called elopeshawnee.com. Okay. Pretty easy. Which we did one together. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Uh-huh. Aside from having to get out there at like 530. Oh, but, but it was. It was worth it. I mean, it. it sucked having to get up that early, but it was being uh, out. No, at, it does. Oh, no. Being I'm out there. At, See, we are not. <laughs> I am a morning person. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure that we shared a car ride, and I'm pretty sure the we entire did time we were just like, <laughs> Oh, and I the love other it. one would be like, uh-huh. <laughs> I shot an elopement with you there at Garden you of the Gods. Did. Yeah, yeah. You did. Oh my gosh, I forgot about it's that. It's so pretty. I was there. also injured for you that. You were <laughs> injured. Yes, again, you were injured. Gosh. So I, that's why I was there. Red flag. It's time to get out of it. If you're constantly yeah. injured at weddings, it is time to get out of it. But that was a good one. That was a good one. It was. It was yeah. fun. That was another good one. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna have to stop talking because I could keep talking about weddings yeah, all day with you. Okay, all Sounds right. Good. Thanks for tuning in, friends. If you've <laughs> enjoyed listening to us, give yeah, us a follow. Thank you. Yes, to thank you for the guest for showing up and. Thanks for yeah. having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have you back. Yep. Sounds You're good. Back. There'll be a part de. A de. De. What's yeah? Is that French? Yeah. Two. My husband does that all the time. <laughs> I don't speak French. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> dos. Okay. Dos. Part dos. There you go. Dos equis? Uno mas. One more. Uno mas. Uno mas. And that's the end. Thanks for listening to Mondays on Main, a production by Main Street Media Co. Our goal is to connect with both artists and enthusiasts to encourage conversations in the creative and small business community. You can join in our efforts by subscribing wherever you're listening, leaving a rating, and sharing this podcast with someone you know. I'll help. I'll teach him to dance. <laughs> I used to be a dance coach. Well, does he, he doesn't really even have to do that many moves. He just has to do a few of them mm-hmm. just to the song. Because the, uh-huh, mm-hmm. just that and then the tip. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't even necessarily have to do all of the moves. No, no just a few of the Just a moves. couple. And if, usually if he practices What if you do him it, and Sasquatch and go between the two? Well, Same. Sasquatch right now has a crooked back, so... Your yeah. Sasquatch. Forgot. <laughs> yeah. Sasquatch is having back issues right now. But I was trying to learn that other one that you sent me. Oh, yeah. Where That's the, the Beyonce gr- song. Where the, li- where the little... No, it was the uh, Pitbull. Oh, yeah. What's that, what's that song? Fireball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fireball. There was like the... Do, 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 where do, they do, jump. Do. Mm-hmm. Me and him were in here trying to do it. Neither of us can jump. <laughs> I was dead. Uh, we can't jump. Four minutes in, I'm like, all right, this one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Maybe you need to co-host with us all the time. Oh, I don't know. I don't think your audience would like that. Yeah, they would. <laughs>